Each county in the Upper Cumberland has interesting bits and pieces of history that most residents are not even aware of. This is also true for Overton County, Tennessee. With many people and events in history that have helped shape our country, the Overton County Heritage Museum is excited to welcome visitors to explore the rich history their area has to offer and just see how some of their residents have had an impact on our nation. always loved uh, the history of the county. I'm a lifelong resident here and uh, if our generation does not preserve it, it's going to be lost because the older generation is the one that collected the things and I think, I think it's important to know where you came from to know where you're going. I just think the history of the county is important. This is the old Overton County Jail and we worked for three years uh, Dr. Michael Birdwell was working with us at that time, and he said, I think you ought to open with whatever you have. So we just hurried up in about a week's time, and we just opened up with a kind of a soft opening with just a little bit of stuff up front. I can look back from where we are now to where we were 13, 14 years ago. It was very primitive, but we were so proud of what we had done. It's a long road from where we started. We have no money to buy anything, so it's all donated, and it's it's amazing what we do have. We have visitors from all over the United States, and uh, and people from other museums, even big museums, when they come here and they they're amazed at the they say the stuff that we have because we have a lot of a variety of things that some of it's on temporary loan, which we may have for years to come, and may may stay with us forever if their children don't claim it after they're gone or whatever. But most of it is donated to the museum and it's up to us to archive it, take care of it. And throughout the museum, things are changing. You get new items that you can add to or just move everything around. It makes it fresh and so you have repeat visitors. They don't want to come back and see the same thing over and over again. We try to collect as many of the pictures of the old one-teacher schools in the county. I think at one time, Overton County had 134 schools. You had to have a school within walking distance of every child. So uh, we've got a large notebook that has uh, school pictures from all these old county schools that's long gone in the different communities. We have one display that's uh, Mr. Ira Speck from, that owns Speck Funeral Home. We have his portable embalming equipment. The table folds up just like a suitcase and he would take it to people's homes and do the embalming. Some people are interested in that. Some people, that just grosses them out. They don't want anything to do with it. World War II, we have the uniform of one man that was a prisoner of war uh, for a long time. He was thought to be dead and he just walked up his driveway one, one day, he made it back. And the other guy, was he was a prisoner also for a long time and, and we have uh, pictures and some things on him. And uh, we have some the pictures of the Gold Star Boys from World War II. We recently had a special exhibit on World War I to coincide with the 100th year anniversary of the ending of, of World War I. The first American killed in Vietnam was Tom Davis, who was from here in the county. And we have several of his articles that he had, that he used while he was over there and pictures of him when he was in Vietnam. And the funeral pall that came back on his uh, casket, it was made by the Vietnamese people. It, glass beads and wire, to me it's a beautiful piece, it's huge. It's on loan from the Tennessee State Museum. There's four people in, in Overton County that work in and with the space programs. Michael McCulley, that grew up here in Livingston, was an astronaut. He was the commander of the shuttle Atlantis, and he's, he's still, he has a houseboat here on the lake, so he's here 
two or three times a year, and he drops in at the museum. And uh, but we have a lot of a lot of his stuff, and then and stuff on the other other three people that work in the space program. An art teacher in the county, the old Ritz Theater that used to be on the square in Livingston. She's painted it on the wall back there. Uh, it opened in sometime in the late 30s, and it burned in the 1960s. That was area entertainment when we were teenagers. <laughs> we also have a, a, a good variety of local histories, of county histories, family histories, church, cemetery histories, uh, communities, all written by local uh, authors, and that helps support our museum. We're not supported by city or county, really. It's all volunteers that keep it open. If uh, groups, senior groups, church groups, school groups, anybody that want to come and visit the museum, we'd love to have you, and we're always looking for volunteers.